I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. It's here, Adobe Audition 2020. Let's find out the new features in Adobe Audition in this latest release. So here we are, the brand new interface, and you'll notice just a few UI tweaks. It's a little cleaner, a little neater, a little tidier. A uh, big focus on this release appears to have been bug fixes. So when you got that annoying pop-up, that goes all over your screen every time Audition quits unexpectedly. Hopefully it doesn't do that too much for you. Um, well, the idea is that should happen less in this release. So more stability, saving you time, saving you the stress of tearing your hair out when things go wrong. You should always set backups, by the way, either to Creative Cloud or locally when you're producing big sessions. Uh, but yeah, a lot of bug fixes. So any errors, um, bits like that should have been ironed out in this release. Um, just a few new features to go into in Adobe Audition 2020, so let's take a look at what they are. First and foremost is multi-channel effects routing, and the way this works, it means you can essentially route any channel to any other channel in an effect. Let me show you how it works. So say you're in the effects rack right here, and well, we'll need a little piece of audio, so let's go ahead and bring some audio. Let's go ahead and bring this track in here, okay? So this is a music track that I'm playing with right now, and and I want to do something like, I don't know, maybe add some modulation, some flanger to it. Okay, I can go ahead, uh, choose my favorite preset, the oral flanger, uh, which is really nice. And then I can say up here, where is the um, channel that it's routing to, or where are the channels it's routing to? At the moment, left is going to left, right is going to right. Previously, you couldn't do this. Now you can, now you can reroute them. So you can say, okay, uh, left goes to right, uh, and right also goes to left, like that. So you can swap the channels around if for whatever reason you need to do that. You might say, well, hang on, the you know, left, right, right, left. Okay, that's great. What's the big deal with doing that with effects? Well, if you're mixing, for instance, in 5.1 surround, it may be that you want to move elements around in the mix. So if you're working in a complicated mix, where you've got elements on multi-channels. Now, in any effect rack that you put into your effects rack, uh, any effect that you put in there can now be routed as you choose. Using this little routing icon here, you get this little interface here that you can then go ahead and play around with. So that's one thing. Uh, another thing you can also do is go into the multi-track, create a brand new session. Uh, let's do that right here. So there we go, a brand new multi-track session. And then I can go ahead and grab some audio. So let's grab some audio I recorded earlier on and I can pop it here. And then I might grab another track and pop it here, for instance. Okay, so these are some of my voiceovers. Um, now say I take this voiceover, trim it down to size. Let's trim that down like that. And then I sort of overlay this here, for instance. You will hear, as I play the audio back, it'll play this clip, then this clip. Uh, let's make sure the audio is on and routed to the correct place, of course. Audio channel mapping, super important. Uh, so output it on the correct channels on my Soundcraft desk here, and then you'll be able to hear exactly what I'm playing back. Join chapter 47, make money and get you closer to the goals that matter. Okay, so that is the track that I've overlapped there, but the original, if I take that down and mute it, 47 on Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Okay, but the moment I put a waveform on top, make money and get... It's the new waveform. You don't hear whatever's underneath. So overlapping waveforms can't be heard until now, until the release of Adobe Audition 2020, where you now have a feature uh, to go into the properties when you're in multi-track view only. And if you go into the mixing tab, which is just here, you will get this option to play overlapping clips simultaneously. So if for whatever reason you need to do this, just tick that. It's as simple as that. And now you get this. Join chapter 47 on make Facebook, money, and SoundCloud, get you closer Instagram, to the goals and that matter. Twitter. And now you'll find that both that clip and that clip are playing at the same time. Obviously, the default behavior when that's happening is that this is off, but now you can toggle it on. So a couple of new features in Adobe Audition 2020. The other thing you may want to check out if you have not done so already, drop down the help menu and head for Audition Learn. This has been around for a few releases, but they're always adding to it. Uh, one of the greatest new features that has recently been introduced is punch and roll recording. It hasn't come along with this new release, 
Uh, it's been around for a little while now, uh, but some of you may not know how to use it. You might be a voice artist and you want to might want to know how Punch and Roll is going to help you in your recordings. Now you've got an interactive tutorial you can click and this is going to guide you through exactly how Punch and Roll works. But anyway, I'll leave you to watch that and play with that yourself and interact with that tutorial because it really is a fantastic way to learn when you're inside the Adobe Audition 2020 app. Let me know what you're going to be creating in the brand new Adobe Audition 2020. Leave a comment and tell me down below.